tough. Welcome back, uh, Karin Olive, Moki Edwin, and your guests on the set. Welcome back to the Limbeo Miss Sports Stadium. The second half has gone off. And then the questions are remaining in the air. Who will make it this time? Odega, breaking in for Nigeria. Play with Okobi. Little success uh, gotten there. Back to uh, Ngozi Okobi. Held down by two South Africans. And that is going to be the tussle to the end of this. Uh, the second half or to the end of this encounter. As the Nigerians keep pressing on. Ngozi Okobi. Playing back there to uh, Nigeria's Ayinde Chikwelu. Opening up now, and Nigeria comes back again with a long crossing, but into the hands of uh, Antile Lamini, the young lady who is living up to expectation this evening for Le Banyana Banyana. Et pour l'instant, rien n'a changé. Là, les deux états majors. Qui semble quelque peu nerveuse malgré ce repos de 10 minutes accordé aux équipes en reposition, les pions sur le terrain, la touche nigériane, Ikidi, Ikidi avec Okobi, Okobi qui a essayé là de frapper, mais Ball goes out. le ballon a été donc mis ce sera une sortie de but pour la formation sud-africaine. Ball back into action with uh, Andile de la Mini. And as it stands, the highest goal scorer of the competition is Assisa Rochuala with six goals. Elisabeth Addo with three goals. Of course, for two goals, we have Ferriet Akaba of Cameroon. Samira Suleiman of Ghana and Bosira Toure, Basira Toure of Mali. But the question I did is who becomes the MVP of the tournament? Who becomes the most valuable player of the tournament or what you want to call the best player of the tournament? The one person who is uh, swimming out of the waters is none other but Cameroon's Gabriel Abudiongene who has been very, very instrumental for Cameroon's uh, victories so far. And if uh, it is uh, a booty on Ghana, then that will be plenty of, uh, plenty, plenty of uh, uh, glory for her. There is still one match for Cameroon, and that will be the final. Elle méritera amplement d'être élue meilleure joueuse de ce uh, dixième tournoi de la Coupe d'Afrique des Nations de football féminin. Gabriel Aboudi Ongede, qui aura une fois de plus émerveillé le public cet après-midi, alors que les Lions du Cameroun cherchaient la qualification face à l'équipe des Black Wings du Ghana. C'est elle, Aboudi Ongede, qui a été la lumière de cet après-midi. On cherche encore, ici au stade en histoire de Limbe, du Sud ou alors du Nigeria affrontera le Cameroun samedi prochain. Balvik, la capitaine sud-africaine qui va exécuter ce coup franc pour essayer de pousser ses attaquantes. Balvik, c'est parti, le ballon est levé, la tête sud-africaine revient avec Smeda, Genoë Filo qui donne à Marc Cabanet on écarte côté gauche pour Villa Kazi, Villa Kazi qui a essayé de trouver Smeda. Ce sera 
C'est un corner pour la formation sud-africaine. I was going to say, Edith, the population out here who watch two matches or are following two matches, which is uh, which was a little different in Yaoundé, because uh, the director of the stadium asked if the match Cameroon against uh, Ghana could be viewed here at the stadium, and the giant screens responded, uh, Amen. The match was uh, broadcast, I should say, on these two giant screens with so many people in the stadium, hundreds, I should say, thousands of persons in the stadium, and they waited just a few more moments for the start of the second encounter. That was Villa Kazi, still a bit trying to break inside the South Africa, still in control. A clearance comes in there from the Nigerian defense, but that may not be for long. Nigeria or Deka. Plays that to Okobi. A long opening trying to find Asis Adoshuala. But the South Africans were all present. And from this level, Smeda plays back to Lebonga Mat Mabatle. It is quite tough as if you are going to miss the ball. For you to miss the ball, it is better to play back so that you can retrace the formula. You redesign another formula out of the formula box, Edit. In the case of the du Sud, the present visage reluisant ce soir, rien à voir avec les rencontres qu'elle a disputées lors du premier tour de cette compétition. L'Afrique du Sud qui a commencé à montrer ses couleurs à la troisième journée de poule en venant ici écraser l'Egypte sur le score sans appel de 5 buts à 0. Et aujourd'hui, la voici qui fait face au Nigeria sans complexe. Une équipe sud-africaine qui a jusque-là essayé de faire mal Ikidi. Ikidi pour le Nigeria. Banvi qui était là, mais ce n'est pas fini. C'est un coup fort sur cette faute sur Fait Ikidi. Faute commise par Mbambanani. Mbane. That should have come in long time ago. Look at how Fait Ikidi was just breaking into the uh, defense area. C'est l'une des meilleures joueuses de cette formation nigériane. Of course, but if they had to bring down Faith, they would have done that long time ago. If that was the only solution, than to allow Faith get right into their 80-meter box, than to allow the abscess to get deep, or to allow the canker worm to get deep into the fabrics, that is when you begin treatment. It will always result in a situation like this. And you don't need to go to any soccer college. You don't need to go to any football academy to be told, Edith, that this one is very dangerous for the Banyana Banyana of South Africa. And again, if the person to execute or to fire this good missile on a just is no one de else bon but Opara Nozier. On a vu de très bons coups de pied ici au stade de Omnisport de Limbe au Pala Nozier. Voilà. I told you, Edith. Ouverture du score par Désiré. Au paranoxien, le public qui salue cette ouverture du score. On peut voir la tristesse de Dabini Andile qui n'en revient pas Benin Boumagana. Le Nigeria a pris l'avantage au score. 1 à 0. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful free kick there. A Benin sculpture of a goal. That went straight into the pole with nothing to write against, nothing to uh, dispute against. Look at that. She came in right in, even though Makabane tried to block it, but it went right into the pole. Beware, be careful when Oparanozier is the one to execute a free kick like this one, because this girl Oparanozier has magic in her boots. She has twinkling in her toes. Oparanozier from an avant gang gang who has not played any match since the start of this championship beginning with the first 11. This is the first time she's coming in and she's open scores on her goal counter. She has two goals already.
Déjà deux buts pour euh, la sociétaire de l'Anavan Gengar en France, désirée au Paranodier. Jusque-là, gardé sur le banc de touche par euh, Florence Magbemi. Et aujourd'hui, elle fait la différence dans cette euh, confrontation au Paranodier. C'est également l'une des joueuses nigériennes les plus expérimentées. Elle qui a accompagné le Nigeria dans plusieurs batailles. Elle a commencé sa carrière dans le Baelza Queens avant de aller dans le Delta Queens. Mais elle a également connu une carrière professionnelle assez intéressante. Du Vensilar de Turquie, Rosinskaya, Bosbourg, Ataseir de Turquie, puis la Navanguenga. En voici une fois de plus le Nigeria qui va à l'assaut de l'Afrique du Sud avec Ordega. Ordega sur le flanc gauche, elle a tenté là de jouer. Dans l'intervalle, ça ne passe pas. On va revenir très loin derrière avec Onomé. That is the Nishiko one there. It is going to be uh, South Africa. It's going to be South Africa. Rather, Nigeria coming in without throw in. That was the mistake they made from the onset. When they allow shirt number two for Nigeria, this lady throwing the ball right now. Fifth Ikidi to break into the defense uh, uh, box of the South Af from the South African team. They allow the lady come right inside. And no one proposed an antidote. They only got up to do that when it was all dangerous. And the danger went right to the end today. And right now, South Africa are down by one goal. Okobi, thanks to a defender, Vivo Vilakazi. A good clearance came in there. It would have been another dangerous one for South Africa. What suddenly happened? What went wrong, Edith? The last few seconds of this encounter are things that cannot be explained. As matter as far as uh, these last moments are concerned, le as far as what is happening to... The panic has changed the camp, and it's now the Afrique du Sud who suffers, d'ailleurs, this change of Ngoubane, Ngoubane, who will cede his place to Katlana, who has not played up until now. Let's hope that her coming in is going to change uh, something, Katlana, for the South Africans. I told you, even from the very beginning, that what is good about the South African team is they are compact, they are, they are, they are rapid. You can enjoy the, the life, you can enjoy the rapidity, they play with supersonic speed. But what they lack up front is the finishing. But for Nigeria, apparently what they have up front is the finishing. Katlana who's just coming in, trying to break on, one, two, succeeds in that dribble, takes a crossing, but then a refusal comes in from the uh, Super Falcons. Oh, God of soccer, give the banana, banana, the grace and the ability to be able to finish, if at all it is the will of the gods of soccer for South Africa to get to the final. Elle a déjà marqué sa présence sur le terrain. Tembi Gatlana, sociétaire de l'Université Western Cape d'Afrique du Sud. Elle qui a peut-être les clés de cette attaque sud-africaine. Elle a montré qu'elle pouvait mettre de la folie devant. Et c'est peut-être ce qu'il faut à cette équipe sud-africaine pour pouvoir contenir la défense nigérienne dans son camp. Smeda, qui était alerté là, bénéficiera d'une rentrée de touche. La touche exécutée déjà avec son Smeda pour la du Sud. Très beau jeu Côté Sud-Africain, on va tout de même revenir avec euh, Mabatle. What happened to the header? Oh Et my God. Paranodier va s'en saisir pour retrouver de l'autre côté la joueuse Oshoala. Now the South Africans have an opportunity. Elles sont quelque peu perturbées, les Sud-Africaines, Benin Boumagana. 
There's something that is missing somewhere. Something got lost somewhere in the mathematics. We were told that it is not the final answer that matters. It is how you solve the problem, finding X, Y, trying to put the figures where they are supposed to be. I think that is where the South Africans have the time to be able to ask the question. But apparently not today, not right now, not at this moment. Because it is here that they have to show that they are strong. It is, it is already getting clear on the wall like that handwriting back in biblical days that told doom for Nebuchadnezzar. So too it is happening here. The handwriting on the wall is telling for an unfortunate story for the Banyana Banyana. It is seemingly going to be another defeat from the Banyana, for the Banyana Banyana from uh, the Super Falcons. And the final is going to be between Cameroon and uh, Nigeria. That is what is already coming out from uh, the clear. Except this moment is going to change the whole situation. Shoot right into the ball. It could be goal. Set oh up my goal. Goal. What is wrong? Where is the finish? My God, look at that, look at that, he gets it to 80 meter box, what went wrong, why was the shot not executed, even if you explain it in Zulu, you will not get the answer, in Afrikaans, you will not get the answer, because right now in French and in English, Edith and myself, we are in trouble, trying to find out what actually happened. va sans vouloir, Motalo. Elle va certainement s'en vouloir de n'avoir pas pu pousser ce ballon au fond des filets gardé par Jonathan Alaba. Florence Somagbemi a déjà à quelques petits frissons. On sent le danger, il peut arriver à n'importe quel moment. Il faudrait tout juste que l'Afrique du Sud se montre quelque peu lucide devant la cage gardée par Jonathan Alaba. Pour l'instant, tout est à l'avantage des Sopo Falcons du Nigeria qui repartent à l'assaut avec Oshuala. Oshuala, Opalanosie. Opalanosie, très bien. Il va centrer pour qui Pour Damini Andile. But he gets some. Um difficult the nigerians can say the other start up in the sky katlana yes she goes success in the dribble beautiful one there but there was apparent there was absolutely no one to help her out we can now start saying singing that song for the super falcons they are the mountain peak up high we can now say that they made it like Arkel is the world's greatest. What is this thing where Nigeria's supremacy keeps rising and rising in Africa? And at this moment, apparently it's only one team, one country that may be able to stop uh, this supremacy. And that would be the indomitable lionesses of Cameroon, except that Kalana, that is what should have been done a long time ago. She's having beautiful space, Edit Katlana. She runs the show right well, but apparently the moment she gets into the 18 meter box, something goes wrong. My God. It is time for Coach Desiree Ellis to sit down with the technical bench and solve the weaknesses that the South Africans have at the level of the attack block. Yeah, certainly a problem L'Afrique du Sud a les moyens de revenir à hauteur de son adversaire. C'est le moins que l'on puisse dire. Il y a de la qualité, il y a du potentiel, il y a beaucoup d'assurance même dans les gestes de ces Banyana Banyana. On peut croire que le match n'est pas fini. Il reste encore 26 minutes. Assez pour faire. La différence, assez également pour eux, revenir à hauteur de l'adversaire. Les Bogans, non ballon pour eux, Aïndé, 
Chikwelu qui s'en empare dans l'entrejeu pour retrouver au nommé. On écarte côté droit avec Djoku. Djoku qui va chercher au choix là. Van Vick est là, elle veille au grain. Il y avait une main sud-africaine et l'arbitre n'a pas tardé à siffler pour un coup franc Nigeria. These corner kicks are not nice at this moment. If it's a joke, somebody said, please let it end now. These corner kicks are not welcome at this moment for the South Africans. Beautiful for the Super Falcons. They are riding on the wings of glory. But I doubt if it is anyway good for the South Africans. Such a, a free kicks. The South Africans need to be a little calm. They need to be organized and get back the spirit they started off this encounter with. Because apparently they are losing it. And it is dangerous. It is dangerous not only for the South Africans. It is dangerous for coach Desiree Elise, who has an adore task here this uh, night to get a victory. Else, it will be written again in the history books of our time that in the meeting in Limbe on this day, Nigeria beats South Africa and will be South Africa struggling again in the next competition that is in the next two years to be able to come back to scores. Difficult one for Le Banyana Banyana. Difficult one for Les Super Falcons. C'est une rencontre très très intense Benin Boumagana. Une rencontre qui, jusque-là, a nécessité beaucoup de physique, une débauche d'énergie impressionnante. Les Banyana Banyana, ils vont tenter de s'emparer du ballon, c'est fait. On recommence Makabane. Makabane qui va trouver Refilo. Longue balle vers la zone offensive avec Botalo. What happened with crossing the lead? Oh la la. That's what she did not hurt herself. Avec Oale de l'autre côté. By the time she could get to that word, it crashed against her lap. On espère qu'elle va se relever, hein? D'ailleurs. Yeah, she, she actually crashed against the. Uh, she actually crashed against the part outside uh, the turf. <laughs> Thank goodness that she's up again. Man, to be able to get through this kind, you need to be skilled. As she's saying, gladiatorial arts. But this is not it so far. This is soccer, and I'm sure some uh, first aid. We do the magic. Time enough for Coach Desiree Elise and Florence and Mark Bamey to be able to give the final counsel, to be able to give uh, some uh, guidelines. Remember, I did that for Florence and Mark Bamey. This is a moment to show Nigeria that a national is able to coach the team and take the team to higher heights because Mark Bamey may not be the coach that is. They are talking of getting an expatriate to be coach, and this, that is what is uh, in the uh, online media so far. And for coach Desiree Elise, she took the team only in October, so you see how difficult it is for her, but also how difficult it is for coach Florence or Mark Bamey. J'allais dire, Benen, que les deux entraîneurs, ils sont sur le banc de tous ce soir, sont là. Des entraîneurs intérimaires, en attendant de trouver mieux, a-t-on dit L'Afrique du Sud avec Gatlana qui a mis le ballon au-dessus de la transversale. Elle n'a pas joué depuis le début de la compétition et c'est à ce moment critique que Désirée Ellis la jette sur le terrain pour cette bataille qui pourrait être la dernière pour euh, l'entraîneur sud-africain. Puisque les, les Banyana Banyana sont à la recherche d'un entraîneur au Palanodier avec euh, Okobi. On joue avec Joko. Okobi, une fois de plus.
Il s'en revient à retrouver Chikwelu. Chikwelu, on nommé. Fait Ikidi à présent. Chikwelu. Ikidi. Au palazzo n'est pas loin. On va remonter avec euh, Chikwelu qui va ouvrir. Pour eux. Hors des gars. Que va faire Tikwelu entre les Sud-Africains On va retrouver Djoku. Le Nigeria qui joue calmement, qui prend tout son temps. C'est normal, hein Le score est à son avantage. On peut perdre le temps. Ce n'est que normal. Linda Maserame Motla Lo. Who is lost like uh, many persons. She began playing football at the age at age 11. And she's playing in the Janine Van Vick Club. Where Janine Van Vick is both coach and captain. That is a beautiful one day. It was a header from Oparanozie, Bert, goalkeeper, and Dile de la Mini. Got right that got right there to save. Nigeria from uh, to save for uh, Bafana Bafana from that trouble. Now we're seeing that uh, Matlalo, who got in into this uh, uh, match from a family of football lovers, played right up to this moment. Seems as if uh, she's still on the turf. Notando Villacazi, reeling in pains. Rather, it is uh, Lebonga Mabale who is coming into the uh, pitch for the uh, first match. He's starting on the uh, first 11. Of course, remember that uh, so far it is being shirt number four, Noko Matlo, who has been playing in that position. And for this match against uh, the Super Falcons of Nigeria, Lebonga Mabale was brought in. She plays in Tex. Born way in 1992, all of them young players and amateur players. We just uh, about 18 minutes to go. It is also clear, Edith, that for the final, if things should remain the way it is, it will be Nigeria against Cameroon, and South Africa will go to meet uh, Ghana to see if they can tussle for the uh, third place. Thousands, thousands of uh, city dwellers in Limbe on the pitch this day they have watched two matches they stayed here when Cameroon was playing to watch the match on the giant screen and they are still here to watch this match it is Nigeria against Bafana Bafana Nigeria against uh, the, Baf the uh, Banyana Banyana and it's one for Nigeria an advantage qui peut s'avérer décisif et définitif on n'en est pas encore là, mais le Nigeria a montré jusque-là qu'il avait les moyens de garder cet avantage. L'Afrique du Sud, qui a quelque peu reculé, mais perdu les pédales dans cette rencontre. Une équipe sud-africaine qui avait jusque-là montré un beau visage face au Nigeria et qui, sur ce but, s'est écroulé complètement, déstabilisé et qui cherche ses marques alors qu'il reste seulement 17 minutes à jouer dans le temps réglementaire. Le Nigeria qui va une fois de plus repartir à l'attaque au aller longue balle en direction de Shoala. Au Shoala. Il ne récupère pas. Et c'est au paranosier qui s'en saisit. Au paranosier, la joueuse de Genga, que va-t-elle faire Elle a tenté de passer entre deux. <rire> Mais et cela n'a rien donné. Tikwelu <rire> s'impose là. Il y a un physique. Rita Tikwelu, qui était face. Of course, there was some push there. <laughs> she brought her way to... She brought her She brought her way She brought her way to... And then the referee... <laughs> of course, said this is going to be a free... Uh, it's going to be a free kick. But oh no. 
The Banyana Banyana with all the opportunities they have. They need to be very careful. They need to be as stable as they were during the first half of this encounter. They are going to get uh, the victory, whatever the case. They are going to get uh, an equalizer, whatever the case. But that will not come if uh, they are a little in a hurry to dispose of the ball whenever they have it. They can still reconstruct play. You will notice Edit Vivo Vilakazi has gone right behind and has stayed behind. She is uh, not playing as sharp as she was playing in the match against uh, Egypt. She's much more defensive uh, this time because, of course, with the Nigerian attack line, you're never sure when they are coming. They're just stealing like a thief in the night, and before you discover it, the sliced one right inside. On attendait au choix la lancée de rencontre Benin Bouma et c'est désiré au, pan, au paranoxier qui fait This is dangerous. la différence. L'Afrique du Sud toujours se cherche, se cherche et se cherche encore. On va repartir avec Matt Ballet, Smeda qui laisse passer, Katlana. au Gatlana. Katlana. Katlana qui va repiqué no. au centre, mais cela n'apporte rien. Sinon, profitez à l'équipe du Nigeria, les se profiter encore. Au Paranosé, c'est une frappe lourde qui passe heureusement bah. noir au-dessus de la transversale début gardée par you. Andile Blamini. Et dit, oui, c'est au Paranosé, such shots are never wasted, they always get right in there. Here now, coach Desiree Ellis is making another substitution. It's bringing in shirt number 20, Octavia Shiwe Nogwanya, who plays with Bloemfontein Celtics in uh, South Africa, coming in into the, in the place of Linda Mese Rame Moslalo. And let's see what this will give. Opara Nozier. Opens right up to Odega. Stops it magisterially. Odega. And plays back to. They come, they come again and they're pressing on the Nigerians. And the South Africans are having a difficult time to clear that one off. It's quite a difficult time. The South Africans seem to have lost control. And now they are having a difficult time getting the antidote of the Super Falcons. Uh, Incursions. They are looking for the gun proof at any moment because the bullet, the bullets from the Super Falcons uh, guns are flying in just every direction. Touch. Nigeria is a carton adressé à Ubonjoku. Certainement pour retard de jeu. Le Nigeria qui prend tout son temps depuis qu'il a l'avantage au score, la touche est partie au paranosier ah dur dur hein, pour cette équipe sud-africaine le centre de Hugo bien repris par Andile Glamini Oh, Eddie, the South Africans will regret the fact that they didn't bring down the kitty when they were supposed to bring her down. And that they made a mistake to touch her paranosia in a very dangerous spot. That they will regret it. You may get into the book of lamentations of uh, South African soccer. And that may be a whole chapter. But that is going to go long this evening. It may make bread and sardine sour for them or to make spaghetti on palatable on a deal like this, Odega, breaking him into Oshuala. Oshuala opening that far end to Ugong Joku. Thank God Van Vick was there, but that was not for too long. As the Nigerians keep pressing on. When this match started, it was South Africa pressing that much. But suddenly, the South Africans are having a difficult time getting through. This Nigerian stronghold. They arrive to get out of their way, but they don't have 
très loin. Les Sud-Africaines prises dans cet étau des Sop Falcons du Nigeria qui contrôlent très bien la situation. Le Nigeria qui prend tout son temps. Heureusement que Villa Kazi était là à chevaucher de Villa Kazi qui va tenter de retrouver Makabane. Le ballon pour Smeda. Smeda. L'arbitre a sifflé. Ça ne va pas être facile pour cette équipe sud-africaine qui tente le tout pour le tout avec tous ces changements déjà opérés. On le sait. Linda Maserane Motalo a cédé sa place tout à l'heure à Octavia Chiwe Nogwanya. Elle qui évolue au UWC. C'est-à-dire The University of Western Cape en Afrique du Sud. Et qui devra apporter un peu plus de jus et le tonus, surtout d'inspiration, à cette attaque sud-africaine. This is Wogu Success coming in the place of Odega. Francisca Odega, who has been quite a great, great contribution. To the success donné, hein, of Nigeria this far, Francisca Odega from Washington Spirit in the United States of America, going out for Wogu success to come in. It is uh, experience going out, and then there is zeal coming in because Wogu success has not been in this team as long as Odega, who won the 2010 and 2014 African Women Championship. Wogu success is uh, making her debut with her. Uh, via Super Falcons, the national team. But Ortega has given so much and she should be applauded whatever the case uh, edit. Tout à fait, elle mérite. Elle mérite d'être applaudie. D'ailleurs, c'est la première fois qu'elle est remplacée depuis le début de la compétition. Et elle est remplacée par euh, la plus jeune joueuse de cette équipe nigériane. L'Afrique du Sud qui a failli là avoir une opportunité Intéressante pour eux. revenir à hauteur du Nigeria. Le ballon sera remis en touche. Wogu Sokses qui est allé très rapidement sur Makabane. La touche est partie. Attention Ça ne donnera ni plus ni moins qu'un corner. Let's hope that pour l'Afrique du Sud. Let's hope that with this corner edit. There's going to be a victory. You see that crowd in there. You remember Cameroon's goal a few hours ago in Yaoundé. There was a crowd like that in the 18-meter box, and then the goal came in. It could be the same story for South Africa, but no. Bane. Bane qui retrouve la tête nigériane de Nigeria avec... Au paranodier qui va alerter Oshuala. Oshuala. Au paranodier. Ça joue très bien côté nigérian Chikwelu qui a raté là. Il y a là un coup à jouer. C'est un bon coup de. Il y a un bon coup à jouer là. Sida de Dick. Sida de Dick. Qui perd la sortie. Sida de Dick. What is the essence of all this dribble, Katlana? What is the essence of the dribble? It is good to dribble, but it is not also good to be selfish, especially when the dribbling gets longer. You better play over, of course, that is what I'm saying. You need to play over to your partner or teammates. Because what are, what are dribbles without a goal? What's a cone without a candy? Kanlana. Another corner kick. In just uh, the remaining six minutes or seven minutes to the end of this match, I mean to the end of uh, regular play, Catalana and the others will really need to come back to the drawing board and be a little more generous. Where is the header for? My God! Oh Lord, help South Africa to 
C'est une occasion que les Sud-Africains vont toujours regretter à l'heure où Oparanodzie et les siennes ont l'avantage au score et au moment où on s'achemine vers la fin de cette confrontation, l'Afrique du Sud n'aurait pas dû manquer cette occasion. Malheureusement, ça a été le cas et il va falloir aller chercher très loin. Le ballon est mis en touche parfaite, Ikidi. That was the obvious thing she could do to clear up the danger. Florence Sobakbemi ne tient plus sur place. And this, and this is what we, we have been saying. We said it so many times in the press conferences calling the attention of Florence Sobakbemi that when Nigeria meets a team, a team whose soccer prowess is not as strong as that of South Africa, Ghana or Cameroon, They have an easy way through against Ghana. The goals were not flowing like they were flowing against Mali and against Kenya. Against South Africa today, it has been very, very difficult to get one goal. That is a situation. Nigeria may be strong, but this competition has taught us that another very strong team can also be able to shake Nigeria's supremacy and bring their soccer prowess to question. Il y a des équipes matures, il y a des équipes expérimentées, il y a des équipes qui ont de la qualité et du potentiel dans cette dixième édition de la Coupe d'Afrique des Nations de football féminin. Le Ghana, vous l'avez dit, l'Afrique du Sud et une Afrique du Sud no avec Villakazi, Villakazi qui va essayer d'éliminer au aller le centre, la tête de Nomé. Le Nigeria se dégage parfaitement. Beautiful clearance. Même si ce n'est pas pour longtemps, Rita Chipuelo a mis en touche. It is going to be ball back into action. And there it goes. Here we have. Les Bogans. Les Bogans m'a battu. Van Vick. Comes from behind. Le ballon. And it is going to be ball back into action for South Africa. Counted with us one minute, ten seconds. Coach Desiree Ellis can understand. Neither can Janine Van Vick understand. They are all lost into what happened. Where did they go wrong? Where did they miss it? Who did not do what they were supposed to do? How could they have come to such a pass? The match is virtually running to the last minutes. And Oshuala is still not happy with the coach because that would have been a penalty. It is a very, very difficult one. Very difficult one for Oshuala to accept. They are going to face Cameroon and that is the truth about it. It is all gone and we do not have time to talk about time this uh, evening edit. But it is all very clear that uh, Nigeria are going through No one has been able to stop the Nigerians. Well, maybe we should start thanking the city of Limbe. This is the last game in Limbe in this tournament. Maybe we should start thanking the city of Limbe 
a city of friendship, very beautiful city, very, very clean city, we should say, with three minutes of additional time, Limbe will always be applauded for its beauty and for the fact that it has always been clean. Trois minutes à jouer, trois dernières minutes et la marche royale des Sop Falcons du Nigeria vers la finale de samedi prochain face aux Lions indomptables du Cameroun. Trois minutes à tenir encore, dernier match de la Coupe d'Afrique des Nations de football féminin Cameroun 2016 à Limbé, ville de fraternité, convivialité, ville également de football, on aura apprécié la mobilisation des spectateurs ce soir au stade de Limbé, ils étaient très nombreux. On va également saluer la grande mobilisation de la communauté nigériane qui a fait le déplacement ici. On dit également merci à tous ceux qui nous ont permis de vous servir ces beaux moments, ces moments de football, ces moments de communion, à travers le football bien sûr. On va dès demain penser à la finale, mais avant cela, on va suivre l'une des dernières actions avec Ochoala. Elle n'a pas pu éliminer là. Et son vis-à-vis. Mané qui s'est interposé avec beaucoup d'autorité pour empêcher un but d'Assisa Toshuala qui se dessinait déjà Benen Boumagana. That was a beautiful clearance there. In just uh, the next one minute is going to be over. Oh. It is going to be difficult for the South Africans. After now, both teams We'll be taking their flights back to Yaoundé for the third place match where Elizabeth Addo and the Ghanaian side will be coming against her. Vivo Villacazi or Janine Van Vick if you want and the Banyana Banyana side. And as Edith was telling you, it has been a great success for the Sierra TV team out here. All the cameramen, the technicians, the producers, the sound technicians, for just everyone and for all the support that we've received, especially the moral support coming in from uh, students of the Master's Unit of Corporate Communication, University of Boya Journalism of Mass Communication, Dr. Chair Tita and Professor Eno Chanjong, all the great support that has come in so far, morally, all the encouragements that we've received. From all of you from Yaoundé and right here, it is early, but it is time to say farewell. De Lamini has fought hard, and it's unfortunate South Africa are losing at the semis. They've put up a very, very great show. Elles sortiront la tête haute de cette compétition. Même si dans une confrontation comme celle-ci, on ne retient que le vainqueur et que le vainqueur, c'est le Nigeria. It is over. Le match est terminé, mesdames et messieurs. Oh my God C'est le Nigeria qui passe en finale <laughs> et qui affrontera les Lyon. That was a hard one there for Florence Omapemi. Samedi prochain, Florence Omapemi qui a le sourire, même si... On le sait, ça a toujours été difficile. De son côté, le découragement des Sud-Africaines. Une équipe sud-africaine qui était amenée par Désiré Ellis. Et le match entre Oma Bemi et Désiré Ellis a une fois de plus tourné à l'avantage de Florence Oma Bemi. Elle avait déjà gagné en tant que joueuse. Aujourd'hui encore, elle l'emporte en tant que Of course, it's all clear. 
2014 African Women's Championship in Vinduk, Namibia.